What's going on guys? A monster here with a new video and today we're going to be checking out state machine nodes and how to use them. And so for this video we're running Lumbyard Beta 1.11.1.0 with Samples Project as our default project. Cool? So let's start. Alrighty guys, so let's talk about state machine. And uh, yeah, just uh, just to start off with, think of these as grouping nodes, right? Like parent and grouping and childs. Um, and yeah, but the basic concept here is that state machines host a set of states that are linked together by transitions. So again, what does that mean, right? Like character idle state or character moving state. And yes, we totally touched on this topic when we created our first animation graph in this video series. So like right here. Um, but again, this was to get started. What we're supposed to do with these kinds of uh, uh, nodes is that we're supposed to create state machine nodes. And uh, basically what state, with state machine nodes, we're consolidating all of our other nodes that make up our animations to simplify the imminent complexity of the animation networks, right? Which is, again, by design of nature for information. If you want to make your character more lifelike, there's going to be a lot of information contained in this uh, kind of uh, a node, right? So that would, again, it will make your character more lifelike. And so we want to use this as an organizational tool. So let's just imagine you have like this times 50, right? Just to get the character to be in... Uh, I don't know, like a sad state. Let's imagine the character is in a sad state. So we'd have a sad state uh, machine node right here. So I can just go ahead and create one. Call this sad state. Now let's just say our character uh, is in a sad state. What's going to happen? Well, let's go into that. And we'd have a blend tree here. Right click, sources, blend tree. Inside of that blend tree would be... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do the whole like baking show thing. So imagine, imagine we have a bunch of nodes here. Ding, we have a bunch of nodes. Um, and uh, the, all of this is going to define how our character is going to present the animations as a sad walk, right? For our example here. So in a sad state, what does the walk look like for our character? Well, there's going to be motions uh, that are blending in to uh, kind of show off the, uh, you know, the lack of energy. There's the shoulders are going to be drooping. There's not enough effort to actually keep your head up. So the head's going to be like kind of falling. This walk is going to be super, super slow, uh, very defeated kind of feeling in the silhouette. And the counterpart to that is going to be like a happy state, right? Where the character is going to be like walking a little bit faster and, uh, you know, occasional jumping and skipping and like, yay, you know, there's there's a lot of energy and joyfulness in that. And so all that kind of information, again, is going to take a lot more work than this. But the basic, again, the basic concept is that we're going to be creating these uh, state machine nodes. And I'm just going to copy paste this all over the place so you get the idea. So it's going to be these state machine nodes, and it's going to be a simplified version, right? Well, let's just say this is a walk state, a happy state, a sitting state, a dance state, and I don't know, jump state. Well, all of this has complex data inside of it, but we want to make sure that we are organized in a way where our other team members or just, j just to save yourself some hassle in the future, right? We have these kinds of states. And uh, again, with states, if we're doing game logic, it's much easier for us to kind of reference these kinds of states. Let's say we are in a jump state in the game logic, right? The game logic picks it up. We want to be able to display that animation. So we just call on the uh, jump state instead of like uh, going to, uh, you know, walk, run, idle. So yeah, I hope this was helpful in solidifying your core knowledge on this concept. And in the next video, we're going to set this up properly. And of course, blend our animations within the nodes. Of course, don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment section below or on our community forums at gamedev.amazon.com forward slash forums. Also, hitting those like and subscribe buttons would be most appreciated. And yeah, guys, thanks for taking the time and watching this video. And let's move on to the next. Let's do some stuff. So till then, cheers. Walking down the street. Happy state and sad state and hopefully this example works. Oh shoot, I'm recording. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Close it, close it.